Good afternoon, I'm Rebecca Pouchard from MICA, which is Maine Ishinru Karate Academies. And today I'm gonna to read to you a super cool story, Hensel and Gretel, Ninja Chicks. I'm all about Ninja Chicks, this is gonna be great. And here we are in the dojo, how appropriate, right? All right, starting out. Once upon a menacing time, two chicks knew a fox was at large. Their ma had been taken and Pop was quite shaken, so Hensel and Gretel took charge. They're headed to the dojo. They trained in the art of ninjutsu and practiced their wing throws and blocks. They learned how to creep without making a peep so they wouldn't fall prey to that fox. One day they returned from the dojo to a coop in complete disarray. The signs of a tussle showed someone with muscle had dragged their dear papa away. They quickly surveyed their surroundings. The fox had left prints in the dirt. Come on, we're not chicken. That fox needs a licking before our poor papa gets hurt. What are they gonna do? They trekked till they spotted a feather. It looks like we're on the right track. They kept up the chase, dropping crumbs just in case so they'd easily find their way back. The forest grew twisted and tangled as Hensel and Gretel searched on. The light faded fast and they noticed at last that the trail and the breadcrumbs were gone. They shuddered and groped in the darkness. We're lost, whispered Hensel with dread. They weaved and they wound and kept roaming around until they saw light. It came from a cottage of cornbread. Let's eat, Hensel clucked with delight. She nibbled away till she heard someone say, my dear, come on in for a bite. I'll whip up some quick teriyaki while we wait for the tea cakes to bake. Why not, Hensel reckoned, off guard for a second. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Then quickly she saw her mistake. She gasped and then dashed to the corner where Pop was confined in a crate. Watch out, Papa cried. You'll be chicken pot pie. She sidestepped, but it was too late. The fox plucked her up in a hurry and shoved her right into the pen. You're scrawny and tough, but you'll plump soon enough. For now, I'll just stir fry this hen. The fluttering hen looked familiar. It's mama, cried Hensel in shock. Hensel was scared, but she came well prepared. I bet I can jimmy this lock. Outside in the dark, Gretel listened, dismayed at the fox misdeed. She climbed to the flue and squeezed her way through with ninja-like silence and speed. Then Gretel swooped in and snatched mama and swiftly adjusted her stance. The fox took a leap, but with one feathered sweep, the chick boldly blocked her advance. Not bad, said the fox striding toward them. Give up, Gretel cluckered undeterred. The fox said, surrender? No way, chicken tender. Your cheap little threats are absurd. The fox charged and grappled with Gretel, a flurry of feathers and fur. The fox held her tight, but Gretel wrenched right as something zipped past with a whir. While the fox in a daze, Gretel vaulted as Hansel and Papa broke free. With one wicked spin, Hansel kicked the fox in. You're done with your chick frying spree. She slammed the door shut and then locked it. The fox crumpled, looking unnerved. You two ninja chicks got us out of that fix and justice, not dinner, was served. From then on, they made it their mission to rescue, protect, and defend. They'd work night and day to liberate prey till bird napping came to an end. The end. I hope you're having a happy summer.